Hi, my name is Nigel Gorski. I'm a Chartered Accountant practicing in the Bingley area. From time to time, I produce a series of videos designed to help you or your business get the best out of taxation. Today, I'm going to talk about three useful allowances. The first one is rent and room. The second one is the new small property income allowance. And the third one is the new small sole trade allowance. Let's start with the easy one, the uh, rent and room relief. Because it's been around for a while, where you perhaps have a lodger in your home and you get a little bit of income from it. Well, actually now the income could be quite valuable because you're allowed seven and a half thousand pounds per sole person. It's halved if it's joint, but um, nonetheless, it's very, very useful income if you don't have to declare it. Relief is automatic if you are below that and you can't deduct any costs, so that's your gross income. If you take more than that, you need to be putting it on your tax return. So, what about the future of rent to room relief? Well, there is a consultation around at the moment because if you think about the market, it's changed. We now have websites that advertise very casual bed and breakfast bases, and I think the government are questioning whether it's fair to, um, for people to try to claim rent to room relief in lieu of that. So I would expect some changes. Um, in the not so distant future. The next one is the small property relief. So basically that means, that doesn't mean that you have a small property, but it means that you can generate a little bit of other income from your property. So you might rent a bit of your garden out or a bit of your driveway out. If the total rent is less than a thousand pounds in a tax year, you can again ignore it. But again, as with rent to room relief, no costs are allowable. Similarly, we have a new sole trade relief, again of £1,000, where if you make a bit of money on, say, eBay, or you make some uh, greetings cards and you make a bit of money on it, then if the takings are less than £1,000, you can, again, ignore it. But please be aware that there are some constraints around sole traders on that, so do check HMRC's guidance on it. If you've got any questions on any of these three reliefs, which you can of course use all together, then do feel free to contact me and most importantly, thank you so much for listening.